What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV and in today's video we're going to discuss a little issue which has been going on on YouTube right now regarding views, subscribers, subscription fees, all that kind of stuff. If you know by the title and you've searched for this video then you know what I'm talking about. So with that said, let's get on with the video. So as you guys know, YouTube is currently going through a lot of changes. They've kind of got rid of, trying to get rid of the subscription feed, keeping the recommended feed, pushing the recommended feed and sort of leaving the subscription one into the background, but nobody really knows why. Purely because that is the kind of connection that YouTube has built with its subscribers. YouTube is so popular, the reason why YouTube is so wildly popular is because it's feels like a community. You can in interact with your subscribers, interact with everybody. Everyone can leave comments, leave likes, even leave dislikes. Whether it's positive or negative, there's so much interaction on, on YouTube and it just feels like such a community that people can buy into, people love and have grown to know a lot. But that's changing and nobody really knows why. So unless you've been living in a cardboard box, you don't have Facebook, Twitter, anything like that, Everybody knows who PewDiePie is, the most subscribed YouTuber out there. 50 million subscribers this guy has. And basically what he's found out over the last couple of months since YouTube made these changes is that his subscriber rates have gone down. If you look at his analytics, the subscribers have gone down, viewers have gone down, everything has slowed down. But nobody, again, knows why. It's not just people like PewDiePie, there's fitness, lifestyle YouTubers like myself, Christian Guzman, Rob Lipset, everybody. If you've heard of those people, you know what I'm talking about. They have experienced these changes as well. But it's not just a problem for the big YouTubers, it's also a problem for people like me. I'm close to 200 subscribers, right? I'm on 196 at the time of filming this video. That has been fluctuating so much since these algorithms have come in. Now before these changes came into place a couple of months ago, I averaged I'd say 120 plus views a video. Now I'm lucky to get 100 max, but I have 40 or 50 more subscribers. Now as some of you guys watching this video will know, I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday. Each of those videos used to get 120 plus views. Now for the sake of this video, let's call it 125. That's two videos a week, 250 views on my channel every week. All of a sudden, my videos only get around 100 views each. That's 25 people each video. That doesn't sound like a lot, right? But twice a week, that's 50 views each week that my channel is missing out on. 50 chances of getting new subscribers, 50 chances of reaching out, branching out to different audiences, seeing new people. Now 50 views a week doesn't sound like a lot of views, because it's not. But when you think about it in the grand scheme of things, 50 views a week equals 200 views a month. 200 views a month is almost 2,500 views a year. So in a year, I would miss out on almost 2,500 new people coming to my channel just because of these new algorithm changes. And I think the question that's in everybody's head right now is why are YouTube doing this? Why are YouTube unsubscribing me from my favorite channels? Why aren't they letting me like videos? Why are they taking away the subscription feed? All of these kind of things. And actually, I've got a couple of different theories which you guys might agree with, might not agree with. Let me know in the comment section as to why this is. Number one is that YouTube are realizing that people can create wild success off of their website. Off of AdSense revenue, they can make an incredible living off YouTube. People like Casey Neistat, PewDiePie, the list could go on and on and on. Fitness YouTubers, lifestyle vloggers, everything. People can make a lot of money from YouTube. And let's be honest, there's a pretty big chance that YouTube aren't too happy with people like Casey Neistat making all this money off their website without them really having a say in it. I personally believe that one of the reasons is because on demand, using the internet to watch TV, TV to watch anything online is becoming more popular than ever. There's statistics that show that TV is going down and on demand is going up. By on demand I mean things like Netflix, Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer and of course YouTube. And because of this wild popularity increase when it comes to YouTube, people like Casey Neistat are able to make hundreds of thousands of pounds every single month. And the chances are YouTube are maybe trying to cut down on that. Again, I don't know why. I can't give you these answers. I'm opening this up to the comment section for you guys to have a good discussion about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section as the video goes on, guys. So as I say, with people getting wild success on YouTube, there's a lot of people trying to jump on that bandwagon, make their channel, clog, which could clog up YouTube servers, which could cost YouTube a lot of money in terms of having to expand the bandwidth. I don't really know the technical stuff so I won't go into it but all I know is that the more channels that YouTube has the more likely it is that YouTube has to pay something back. Another realistic option is that social media but YouTube in particular is quite a negative place. There's a lot of trolls, a lot of dislikes, a lot of negative comments, a lot of quite hurtful stuff out there and YouTube could kind of be tagging onto this realizing that there is a lot of negativity. 
And so they've kind of changed, from what I've heard, the algorithm changes is that the views that get put on this new recommended page instead of the subscription feed. So all that means is the amount of likes, dislikes, comments, shares that video gets, everything to do with interacting with that video, that is how that video is rated and it gets pushed up there. So going back to what I said about YouTube being a very negative place, there's a lot of trolls out there, and I'll, I'll use an example which is relevant to me. I'm a fitness, lifestyle, university vlogger, that kind of stuff. Christian Guzman is very similar. If you don't know him, Google him, I'll, I'll uh, link his channel in the description. But he gets a lot of negative comments in terms of clickbait. It's not really clickbait because what actually happens in that video is in the title, but it's just to entice you a little bit. So anyway, the point is there can be a lot of dislikes, a lot of negative comments in the comment section. So maybe what YouTube is trying to do is get rid of some of that hate by almost disregarding the haters' comments, because if the haters know that by them commenting and disliking, it's still going to push that person's video up, still going to make them more money, get them more subscribers, get them more popularity, get them a larger following, then they won't comment in the first place. So actually it could be quite a clever ploy from YouTube to kind of disregard the haters' opinions, disregard the things that don't matter, and make YouTube a friendlier place. So I think what YouTube might really be trying to do, which a lot of people might be missing, is that they're probably trying to disregard these haters, disregard the trolls, everything, just get rid of them and make YouTube a much nicer, cleaner, happier place. So they are the two reasons that I could think of that YouTube might want to change their algorithms. One, to make it a little bit harder for people like me to get up there, become a bit more popular. And two, to get rid of the negativity, which the latter is probably the more realistic option, let's be honest. But at the end of the day, guys, this doesn't really matter. These algorithm changes don't matter to me because I'm going to keep consistently pumping out content for you guys because actually this is just something that I love to do. So that is it for today's video guys, let me know if you have noticed these changes, if you noticed it on my channel, noticed it on anybody else's channel, your favourite YouTubers, or even your own. Let me know in the comment section, and as always I will reply to you guys as soon as I see the comment. So thanks a lot for watching today guys, as always, no regrets, and I'll see you guys in the next video.